Yeah, welcome back to Panzerkor. Um, yeah, let's immediately continue with the Russian turn. They're still pounding our poor infantry. <laughs> and yeah, going for the Stuk. Um, I don't know why. Well, bad positioning from my side, putting it in to the hills. And once again, the pause is a little bit tricky. Yeah, let's take a look. We are already very successful at destroying the Maxim Gorky Fortress. But those two units are very dangerous. So, yeah, I hope we can destroy them with our infantry. But once this does less damage, it's getting easier. Um, <laughs> yeah, again, it's still here. And in the north, we are already breaking through. So that's our current situation. Yeah. Wasting a lot of prestige on reinforcements here. But at least in the north everything goes according to plan. And this time we have a very strong group across the river already. And again, it's worth it um, surrounding those units. So this was another mistake. I could have easily surrounded it. Yeah, that's it. Now we have free movement in the south. Catching the bomber. I think this is the last plane they have left. So we can force them to waste a lot of prestige on it. And unfortunately this anti-tank cannon is very cheap. So the prestige they're putting into it doesn't really matter. And finally we got rid of it. Yeah, and a lot of reinforcements around Stalingrad. And yeah, more reinforcements around Stalingrad. It would be too easy otherwise. Yeah, and taking the Crimea is a real pain on Manstein. And now we are dashing for the Volga. And as always, one short of lethal. <laughs> This is nice experience for the for the fighters and less prestige for the Russians. 
that's what I call a win-win situation. Yeah, but successful breakthrough in the south. We can now close in on Stalingrad and get on our way to Astrakhan. Well, yeah, I think it's Arkhangelsk is in the north, I think, yeah. And we get a rugged defense. <laughs> um, that's really unfortunate. Now the Russian fleet is entering the fight. And we are going to lose more units here. But now our Wolf Ramen can wreck them. Very large concentration in the center here. Now we want to cross the river and attack from this side. And this is a rough spot here. Uh, don't move a unit onto the river without artillery cover. So this is in real danger of dying because I cannot reach it. And this one is out of ammunition, so I overlooked that, I think. Yeah, I've surrender here. Doesn't bring much prestige, but one unit out of the way. Yeah, and very helpful. Destroying the ammunition is absolutely helping a lot. It's the easiest way to deal with those really strong units um, destroying 20 conscripts is hard work even if the unit otherwise is, is scrappy but Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, we, we got somewhat lucky here. Yeah, and that was the Russian fleet. And it might actually be a good idea to send one of the bombers to the Crimea to get rid of these anti-tank cannons. Um, yeah, the, the BF-110 can make short work of them. 
they are really effective and yeah the infantry simply cannot break them yeah let's take a look um yeah this will be hard to break and i think i will have to restore my panzer g here um this was actually a little bit risky but I think they don't attack into the cheese. Uh, they will attack your Panther 3. Um, but I guess those are safe. They're even not they're not firing with a theory on it. So you can you can advance with them, but they cannot attack into here. So it doesn't help you, but you can at least block them. Yeah, now let's see if we can break through. Initiative is good for a tank. Yeah, and anti-tank cannons are best attacked from the air. And back to the north, where we want to cross the Volga to help in the attack on Stalingrad. Yeah, and in the south at Baku, we're really struggling. I'm... Yeah, we we had to back off here to save our infantry and we have to back off here. Uh, hopefully they have no prestige left to buy reinforcements here. That would absolutely break my offensive. But seeing this, it's very likely they don't have any prestige left. Yeah, and this time our trap worked. Fleet is gone, and now we can use our level bombers to break this resistance point in the mountains. It's always very annoying if, if they reinforce here. And yeah, unfortunately, this bomber is not very expensive. Yeah, and attacking Stalingrad itself always is about vision um there's very much very strong artillery here so you cannot go near it but most of the time on the outer front line they are putting units with a, a vision range of one so you can use this for your advantage To your advantage. Thank you. 
But once they spot your units, uh, they're in real big danger of dying. Um, yeah, baiting the enemy out of the city is always good. Reinforce the Falschemiga. But yeah, our offenses are doing not great, I would say. And we couldn't bait the attack here. But now in the open, we, we can deal with them. And this is a typical, yeah, this, this brings a lot of prestige actually, and, well, I don't know why the pause doesn't work. Um, yeah, this is a typical example for the vision game, um, this artillery can in theory uh, reach all the units around here but you can position your artillery around here or here to hit them because um, there's no spotters for this one the most dangerous is this regular infantry it has a vision range of two so it's a good idea to destroy this one and then move up like this because yeah, the city only has a vision range of one, and if they put conscripts in there, that's not a problem. So you can close in, you, you have to fight for each hex, basically. Same around here. Yeah, couldn't force a surrender here. So I'm not sure what I'm doing here. This is not the best idea. Uh, just take your time. Um, once again, those have a vision range of one. So if this is in, still in the back, uh, they will do nothing. Um, the only dangerous unit was this one. Yeah, and there are regulars here, so those are annoying. It's better if they buy conscripts. But... Yeah, trying to force them onto the river. And there we go. Trying to trap them again. Using their low vision range against them. Yeah, now it's gone. With the help of the level bomber, it should be easy. Yeah, this was a bad idea. I guess I wanted to trap them. I don't know what I was thinking, but this worked. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, a little bit of back and forth. Um, no way to prevent it because the you know, fighters are moving 
quite a long distance. But I'm only shuffling planes here. Yeah, and that is a perfect setup. Um, this one, if it attacks, is doomed. And yeah, be careful. Um, those rail li railway lines here and here are guarded by mountain infantry. And yeah. This is a little bit risky because 15th ranks point are quite a lot. And this dog won't help much. And yeah, in the background, you're trying. Yeah, okay. One moment. You're trying to. Yeah, this was 70 prestige points, so not bad. One moment. Yeah, we are trying to force our way inwards. And yeah, this will fire at my infantry, I guess. So I had to use it to complete this around, but it's better to, yeah get in with the tanks because they won't attack them as I mentioned um, they're yeah artillery proof and I'm forcing them to waste prestige on the tanks in the background we cannot destroy them but they will constantly reinforce them and we're looking if there are um, reinforcements around Astrakhan um, sometimes there's a real strong force here so then it's very difficult to, to cross actually but if you're quick enough or lucky enough that they reinforce here it's easier to deal with the reinforcements here to be honest um, it's very annoying if the the Russians reinforce very distributed like here and here and, and here those are locations because of the rivers and the bridges and the mountains that are very annoying to attack. It's easier here where you can force surrenders and yeah, put your the mass of your forces around them and, and simply crush them. So to prevent this, I'm already distributing troop, troops to the, to the south. Yeah. Baku is secured. And yeah, I've learned from previous replays. Yeah, big hit, but we have to push through here and we have not many troops. Yeah, I've learned from previous replays um, on the other difficulties settings. Be very careful around here. There are strong tank forces waiting to counter attack. So always prepare defensive artillery. Yeah, this way should work out and the Lee is not that dangerous. Yeah, movement is very good. We can convert it to an elephant now. Yeah, and then the center this time it works out. Bringing a strong artillery here really makes things a lot easier. We were struggling on Guderian here quite a bit. And now, with the help of the Luftwaffe, we should be able to deal with them. Spotting again on the roof, Roman. Well,
Yeah, now we have to deal with the those pesky guns. They are really annoying. But they're wasting a lot of prestige over the course of time. Yeah, scouting, nothing there. And yeah, another tip. Make sure when you do a scout run like this, make sure you have a movement point left to move back. Because if you go in and spot artillery, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't help because uh, vision range of three, firing range of three. So this one is not equipped to take a hit from a 15th strength artillery. Uh, that's not a good idea. Yeah, not a surrender. You're happily taking this prestige. And yeah, the Air Force is really helping a lot. And I'm deliberately keeping this airfield open for the enemy. Yeah, and it's a good idea to keep a tank or infantry unit here to finish off retreating units. Yeah, another surrender. You can use those close quarters to your advantage. Yeah, and I think it's time for another break. We will finish this turn. And I'm already withdrawing the Gustav for the attack on Stalingrad um, because I think the Air Force and the infantry is enough to take this. And this time we don't need them um, to take those coastal cities. We already have them. So this units are more than enough for the final push to the south to take those locations. And yeah, our main problem at the moment is this Sherman tank. Um, we only can deal with him by using a level bomber. Otherwise, we are taking hit on our bombers. We want to avoid that. And we would need more units here, actually, because if they have enough prestige to reinforce here, that's bad news for us um, because this is not able to break them. So it's a good idea to, to rush to rush things a little bit more in the south. And here on the other front, it's looking quite good for us now. And yeah, I think we've almost got the mission in our bag. So <laughs> Main issue now is not make any mistakes and lose un a unit in a stupid way. So see you next video where we will yeah, finalize our push to Stalingrad. Bye.